So you're wondering what the Trojan horse is, aren't you? Well, actually, it's not a Trojan horse. It's actually an elephant right in the living room with you. And that elephant is called the New World Order. Okay? It used to be, when somebody talked about that, that people would say, oh, that's a conspiracy theory. There's no such thing. Now it's a fact. You can, you can research it online. And that's how, when I sometimes get into arguments with people on online, that's how I know right away they don't know anything because they don't know anything about it. They haven't done the research on any of it. And if you guys out there who right now are focusing on Virginia and who's right and who's wrong and... It's all about race, and it's all about the Democratic Party, or and uh, Trump is at fault, or whatever. You all stuck <laughs> in still thinking this is about Democrats and Republicans. That this is about race, white, black, Latino. And see, the joke is on you. Because had you done the research, you'd find this elephant is in the room and it has one goal in mind, and that is to destroy America. Why? Because America is the only one big enough and strong enough still to save the rest of the world and itself. But we're getting to a real bad time here, you guys, where if you guys don't wake up and understand there's a third party involved here and none of you are fighting that one. And if you go in and you research the papers, you got to research them all. It's uh, Agenda 21 is, is uh, a good place to start. But read that, read a few of the United Nations uh, white pages, and you find out that all this stuff is planned. You think these race bait and race problems that pop up in places like Virginia now and wherever, you think, you think they're, they're uh, because of uh, confrontations between different uh, entities? Well, they are sort of but if you go back and you re do the research on the new world order and the plan to just bring down america and everything this is all planned these people are being manipulated you're being manipulated and don't even know it and you know what it's a whole different subject but uh you guys that are on this kick to destroy american history statues and whatever that's american history uh that's all it's a whole another ball game i'm not going to get into it here but you're playing right into their hands even better than they could have hoped for themselves but the plan from this trojan horse is to divide america get it into a civil war and then bring in martial law and take over everything. And once that happens, I got news for all of you guys out there that think think there's something better down the road. You just open the doors to your own destruction. And not just yours, everybody else's. And the only reason why that's happening is because you won't do the research you go and watch cnn msnbc abc nbc even fox now and you know what all those guys are players in the new world order they're feeding you and you're buying it and you're buying it because that's all you know about you don't even bother 
to research and see where this goes. And that's the problem. So my video here was basically, I hope, to wake you up to understand the problem in this country. We are fighting a third entity, and that entity is ready to take over. It's, uh, for those of you who don't know anything about it at all, it's basically a conglomeration of, of a few wealthy people, some real rich corporations, and a whole bunch of dictators around the world that are waiting for the United States to fall so that they can really put their agenda into full swing. And for those of you who really don't know, I'll give you one. This is in writing, you guys. They want to destroy 92% of the world population. That's you and me. I don't care where, you, where you're at in the spectrum. Uh, if you're a Muslim, I don't think that uh, the United States and Muslims are capable of uh, coexisting because of their, their beliefs. But I got bad news for you guys. You're part of the plan because they know how you how you act. They know what you'll do, <clears throat> and they know that that just makes it easier for them to do what they need want to do. And when they're done using you, which is what they're doing, along with BLM and uh, Antifa and uh, LGBT, all you guys, they're just using you. But when this system comes in, they're going to do away with all of us, including you, including you senators and congressmen, some of you in the Republican Party, almost all of you in the Democratic Party, all you socialists, all you KKK, all you Nazis. You're all done when they're done with you. And that's the Trojan in the room. That's the elephant. And you guys all better wake up and smell the coffee. Because this isn't about any of the things that you are talking about today or dealing with or arguing about. These are just, you're being manipulated. And you, most of you, are falling right into the traps. This isn't a conspiracy theory. Like I said, all you have to do is do the research. And when you do the research, you're, you're going to be shocked. So, all I'm asking you to do, go do the research. Quit arguing with, quit fighting with each other. Quit name calling. Go do the research and figure out we got a problem and it's all of our problem. It has nothing to do with Democrats and Republicans, black, white, yellow, red, blue, whatever. We have a problem and we need to come together to solve it. But it can't be done unless you guys wake up because you're, like I said, you're listening to the as Trump calls it, the fake media. And the reason why they're fake media is because they're giving you the stuff they want you to believe. And the sad part is a whole lot of you are believing it. You haven't even bothered to research it. I know that because it once you do, you don't buy it anymore. You don't believe in any of it. Okay, that's all I wanted to say. Have a good day. Please, wake up. Bye.